This is the pipe wall thickness calculation formula, which we are using in the oil and gas process. To calculate the thickness, the pressure, the dia, and SEW we have. And what is that SEW means? You see, it is a E is the quality factor, and S is the stress allowable value. The stress allowable value is the main thing the stress engineer has to know. Because without knowing the stress allowable, you can't do any stress analysis. The details we are going to get it from the table A one M. That is the appendix A. We have many appendix in this code. If you see, there is an appendix, in the index. So appendix A, B, C, D, E, F, like that. Many appendix are there. This B thirty one point three. In this, each and everything is used by the stress engineer to do the stress analysis. I will tell one by one what is the purpose and everything. So here I mentioned that appendix A, which gives the allowable stress. That is the limit. If you want to do some analysis, there is some limit we have to maintain. If the if you cross the limit, our system was getting failed. If you do within the limit, our system was getting passed. Like that only the stress analysis concepts are working on. So as a stress engineer, he must know how to read this appendix A. See, this is the appendix A. If you see, based on the material and the temperature, we have the allowable values. See, these are all the materials. Different materials are mentioned. The your next number, everything, and then temperature details for this temperature and what is the allowable values like that it was mentioned. So you see how many pages are there? Nearly hundred pages are there. We have to know how to read. If A one not six grade B is the material means for that, what is the allowable that we have to read? See A one not six grade A and this is the grade B material for the. Based on the temperature, so the basic allowable stress for the temperature, we have the value. These are the allowable. A one or six grade B means these are the allowables which we have to take and care for in our season. So for each temperature, we have the allowables. So what we have to note down is that we have to mention A one or six grade B. The serial number was thirty one. So for this thirty one, we have to check the temperature was. The next sheet we have the details. So the serial number was 31. For this 31, what is the allowable, which was in the megapascal, the basic allowable stress for each temperature up to 40 degree, the minimum temperature to 40 degree and Celsius and 65 degree Celsius, 100 degree Celsius, 150, 200, like that it was going on. For that, that 106 grade B material, what is the allowable? That means 138 megapascal. This is the allowable limit. We have to do the stress analysis, and we have to maintain less than this allowables. Like that, the stress analysis we are going to do in the Caesar. I will explain that. I have one question uh, in this. Yes. Uh, as we see earlier, uh, the carbon steel pipe uh, we are uh, using up to 427 degrees centigrade only, right? Yes. Uh, I am seeing carbon steel, not alloy steel, right? But uh, if we see against the 31 serial number, the temperature range is given up to 600 degree mm -hmm. for allowable sand. So, yes. can you please explain a uh, little bit more on this. Yeah, that is the thing. Uh, up to 427, we can go for the alloy means. Here, what is the allowable means? 427. This allowable was less than 80. And if you have to take care for that pipe. What is the flange and the flange selection also we are taking care. The flange selection was based on the ratings. For that one not six grade B, the for this we have some pressure. That is the details we are getting from this B sixteen point five. We have to check everything whether the flange, all the fittings, everything has to be satisfied in that or not. The pipe material, the flange material, everything has to be taken care. So here also up to is the. The, base, the rating also will be different based on the temperature. There is a limit. Uh, that means uh, exactly as a process layout guy, you have to tell me because that selection has to be made by the process engineers. And there is a criteria for 27 means that is the limit. That like that only as a stress engineer I have the idea about that. Why they can't go for above 538 means that I idea I don't have because that has to be taken care from the process. Am I right? So okay. process engineer has to answer that because there is a limitation up to 427 only we are going to the big. But from my understanding, what I feel is that we can't take only the pipe material, the flange material, the elbows, everything we have to take and care. 
whether for that process also we have to on what is the fluid that also has to be taken care if it's a more high corrosion fluid means even for less temperature even for uh, 80 degree celsius also we can go for the stainless steel material there is no criteria up to 427 means we have to go for carbon steel not like that if it's a high corrosion material means then we can go for the stainless steel even as a water just to water there is no temperature just to water but it's a high more high corro corrosion uh, water or any fluid is coming means then we go for the stainless steel there is no limit after 530 degrees celsius only we go for stainless steel not like that. and also no, uh, uh, no. sorry yes. sorry to interrupt my question was different actually the uh, the code itself is suggesting us or uh, the giving a limitation to use up to uh, for minus uh, 427 degree right but in in the code again they they are giving allowable up to the 600 degree temperature so that was the confusion to me that why at one end code is specifying that uh, carbon steel can be used up to 427 degree and then code again giving us uh, allowables up to 600 degree yeah, we, that's a worst condition right we can't use the worst condition in our project because the fatigue analyze everything we have to take and plan the lifelong we have to take care because the herds are running means for that the, there is a more flexibility and the pipe, the stiffness, everything will be reducing. That will not be standardized. So we can't specify up to 600 we can use the material. Like that we can't predict that. Because there is a maximum up to 600 we can use. But our for the lifelong we have to take means that we can't use the material. Okay, so understand. That, no is, that is the consideration. And even that is a, that is a, my understanding. So for that everything has some limit and the fatigue analysis we have to take and care for 20 years 30 years the plant has to run means for that whether this material can withstand if you go for the worst condition 600 and the allowable was less means if anything happened means that will not be acceptable right so we have to make some limit so that is the thing up to 427 we can go for almost like some some limitation we are creating we can't go for the worst condition okay so now I mentioned here in the presentation the grouping. Here, why I return the grouping specifically means as a stress engineer from the PMS, he has to know what is the material of the pipe and what is the flange material. And from this 16.5, this is the flange code book. Here, he must know how to read the grouping because here the flange leakage test we are going to do in Caesar. So in the Caesar, we have the flange leakage test. If you are going to do the flange leakage test for any flanges, there is the option pressure equivalent method and NC method are there. In the pressure equivalent method, we have to select for this 106 grade D is the material means. For that material, based on the pressure and the temperature, we have to know what is the grouping. So if you know the group code, see this for the rating wise, we have to select what is the group. For A106 grade B, I mentioned A105 material which was in the group 1 is to 1. A105 which was in the group 1 is to 1. If you know this grouping, then only we can do the pressure requirement method. So if we select this 1, 1 is to 1 group, for that what is the temperature and pressure details that will be come in the season. I will explain each and everything just for this flange leakage. Mr. Manoj asked how to do the flange leakage, what is the purpose, that is the reason I am sharing here. If you see, compare this code book, this is the 1 is to 1 grouping for A105 flange, what is the temperature and the pressure rate. So for 150 rating for this temperature, this is the details. See, most probably it will be same. For 38, it was 19.6 that was showing here. So likewise, up to 538, what is the pressure, what is this pressure temperature rate. So these details shown here. If you know what is the pipe flange material, then only we will select the exact group. And from that exact group, based on the rating and the temperature, you will get these details as an input in the season. And if you know what is the casket dia details, that will automatically come based on the material and the pipe dia. The gasket mean dia will come. So based on this, we are doing the flange leakage test. This PQ means is a pressure equivalent method. I will explain the formulas and everything, how this equation was worked out for the flange leakage. And there is an NC method. This is based on the bold details. I will explain 
in the further classes okay